principles of inheritance and variation session 4 hi dear children in the last modules we had a general introduction to genetics and we learned certain terminologies we come across while learning genetics and in this module we will be learning about the hybridization experiments conducted by mendel to arrive or discover his laws of inheritance mendel or gregor johann mendel played a vital role in discovering the laws of heredity he conducted several hybridization experiments on pisum sativum or garden peas using true breeding of pure lines which exhibited sharply contrasting characters did i mention true breeding of pure lines what do you mean by these words pure line means those who have pure foreign character or in simple words when true breeding organisms are crossed it gives rise to offspring of their own trait and no other trait is expressed and that is the meaning of true breeding of pure lines so mendel took true breeding pea plants in order to conduct his hybridization experiments so let us look into a hybridization experiment conducted by mendel mendel conducted a cross between a true breeding tall plant and a true breeding dwarf plant now just look into these two plants what do they differ or how do they differ they differ in a single character what is it character they differ in the height of the plant so such a cross in which they differ only in a single character is called as a mono hybrid cross so mono hybrid cross is a type of cross in which we study the inheritance of a single character and that type of cross is called as a mono hybrid cross and mendel called the tall and the dwarf plant as parental generation or he denoted them as the p generation or the parental generation so he crossed the tall and the dwarf plant and we know the product of a cross or a fertilization is seeds so he collected the seeds and raised the offsprings and the plants raised from this cross is called as the f1 or the first filial generation so first filial generation is the offsprings obtained by a cross between the parents true breeding tall plant and a true breeding dwarf plant he found that all the plants in the f1 hybrid were tall that means only one parental trait was expressed and then where did the other parental trait disappear okay so in order to find an answer he conducted similar hybridization or crossing between the pea plants with different contrasting traits and he got certain observations he found that in all the crosses conducted only one parental trait was observed and the other parental trait was completely disappearing is it clear so next sec in the second step he conducted self pollination of the f1 hybrids he conducted self pollination of the f1 hybrids and again he collected the seeds and raised the next generation and the generation which is obtained by selfing the f1 hybrids are called as the second generation or the second filial generation or it is called as the f2 generation it's called as the f2 interestingly he found that all the offsprings in the f2 were not only tall the missing trait in the f1 reappeared in the f2 generation and that to in a specific proportion 3/4 of the f2 hybrids were tall and only 1/4 of the f2 hybrids were dwarf so both the parental traits reappeared in the f2 generation and the second observation he received was that both in f1 and f2 there was no blending of characters there was no blending of traits only the hybrids were either tall or dwarf no intermediate height was observed so in order to uh, reconfirm his observations he conducted similar selfing experiments with other contrasting traits and in all his observations he found that the f1 had only one parental trait and the f2 
both the trades reappeared. And that too in a specific proportion or in a ratio, 3 is to 1. 3 fourth were tall and 1 fourth of the trade were dwarf. Or the trade which was missing in the F1 but it appeared in the F2. And there was no blending of characters of trades either in the F1 or in the F2. And with all these observations, Mendel arrived at certain assumptions. He told that something was stably transferred without any change from the parents to the offsprings through the gametes over successive generations. So factors are responsible for the transfer of characters from the parents to the offsprings through the gametes and this takes place over successive generations. And these days, factors are called as genes. So genes are the unit of inheritance and it contains the information which is needed for the expression of a trait in an organism. Genes which code for a pair of contrasting traits is called as alleles. So genes which code for a pair of contrasting traits is called as alleles or slightly different forms of the same gene is called as alleles. So dear children, in this module, we learnt about the monohybrid cross which helped Mendel to understand or study the inheritance of a single gene and that is called as a monohybrid cross. And through this monohybrid cross, he understood that something or the factors held or is responsible for the transfer of characters from parents to the offsprings through the gametes and these factors do not go on any change and this transfer takes place without any change over successive generations. Thank you.